Hi everyone, welcome back to Lil Mum Life. This is another grocery haul, however, it's going to be a grocery haul of two halves. This week, it is Woolworths again, and we took advantage of a online shop deal where you get $10 off if you spend $80, uh, but I wasn't able to get the collection until tomorrow. But I needed stuff today. So I've just popped out. I've done the online shop for the majority. And then today I just popped down and grabbed uh, like fruit and veg that I wanted to select myself and just some other bits that we needed uh, or that, you know, I wanted to look at. So here is today's. And then directly after this, I will put on what comes tomorrow. And then I'll price up all at, at the end. <coughs> All right, so let's just get straight into this one. So here we have, uh, I guess the reason why I did this and popped down is mostly so I can select my own fruit and veggies. So let's start off with these gorgeous mangoes. These are the R2E2 variety. Um, they are massive, so, so big. Um, I guess you can't really tell, but I've got tiny hands. Um, but yeah, way bigger than the, um, Kensington Prime we're going to be. They were $2 each. And the only problem is, um, with a lot of the mangoes that were down there today, they don't smell super ripe. So like the reason I chose these over the Kensington Pride was the Kensington's kind of smelled a little sour and to add to that the one i got last week was a bit sour the kids liked it but i guess they like sour candy so that's not a problem for them but i didn't like it so i've gone for these ones these are the nicest smelling ones and i smell quite a few uh then some avos 220 each for avos one firm one soft ready to go bananas just your standard cavendish five of those then uh, Lebanese cucumbers were on special, but I went for the odd bunch. There's one, two, three, four, five in there. I'm still going with my lots and lots of feta and making salads and stuff. A couple of trust tomatoes. I had to find them separate because I only wanted two, but they were on a special two. Talking about tomatoes, mini romas. A nice little punnet of those and to finish off the fruit and veg the odd bunch playful pears the girls are really loving pears at the minute especially my youngest she'll probably eat two a day uh, and she even doesn't mind it when they have a slight crunch to it so that's good right for the cupboard two packs of milk arrowroot biscuits a good bog standard biscuit to have also a good one is the strawberry wafers. I got two of these because I've got I've built up a stock of the vanilla and I'm still stocking up for a future um, with these. Also with these original water crackers, just the Woolworth brand. And the chicken snack blast. So we also got these Freddo frogs are the first of uh, many that I will buy or like little chockies that I buy because this time of year, uh, a few years ago, instead of continuously buying like the kids three different little tiny advent calendars with the trashy chocolate in, um, I just made one like I, I sewed um, a multi-pocket thing up and so I could fit three chockies in each one and the kids really enjoy that plus they can get the chocolate that they like um, and sometimes I put in a little trinket or a, a miniature like when we get closer to Christmas it might be a present um, just a small thing um, and it's last year um, my mother actually purchased for the girls to open um, one of those um, char like charm bracelets with the beads and so they got the bracelet on one of the days and then a few days later another bead and they slowly built up to the wonderful 
Christmas bracelet, so a Christmas theme, um, over the time. And then for my son, he got some sunglasses or there was a watch or, you know, something like that. So I, it's much, they're not always getting chocolate, but they do sometimes get the chocolate. Anyway, that's how we do it. Uh, for, for snacks, just cheese and onion chips and sticky barbecue rib. Now the Smiths were on special half price. That's the only reason I got these ones. And then for lunch boxes and such, this is the Woolworths 20 mixed multi-pack, which is a good value. Now, uh, if anyone's tried, and I've tried multiple variations, multiple variations of mixed multi-pack, variety pack, small chip packet, etc. online. I could not find this online, but it, it's on the shelf in my local. So um, I have to physically go and pick it up myself. I can't order it online. That's why that's there. Uh, two breads. I... No, I'm just thinking to myself, why did I get two? I probably should have got three. I just pulled the last loaf out this morning, but we'll see how we go. One orange juice. There's more coming tomorrow, but this is just the kids had run out of the orange. And passage to India. Curry sauces were on special. So we got the butter chicken. And then just for the bathroom, I have purchased some lavender talcum powder uh, for, and it's purely for, um, I've got a special occasion coming up and so I need to wear a dress, but I don't know if anyone else suffers with this, but you know, thigh rub. And I just, I don't want to be overly dressed. Like normally for that, I just put on some bike shorts, but I don't want to have that uh, thicker fabric underneath my dress. So I'm going to try this. Old fashioned, right? Old fashioned. It took me a while to find this in the store. It was like down the bottom behind some stuff. And then just for um, uh, uh, Sukin so um, facial cleansers and moisturizers, etc. Their range was half price. So I have picked up a foaming facial cleanser and oil free moisturizer because I do have quite oily skin so that is for me to uh wash my face of course all right so that's today and coming up next is the online shop okay day two and this is our click and collect <clears throat> so as I said, this is all stuff that uh, it's mostly chilled. A couple of pantry items that would be an easy pick off the shelf. So let's just dive right into it. I got my five kilo bag of basmati Baz rice. This is not the one I wanted as a substitution. However, the one that I wanted was on a special. So I did get this for the same price as that. So that stocks up the pantry. Plus for the dog's dinners, they get a bit of rice. Four of the Woolworths butter popcorn. So this has gotten the tick of approval from the kids. Um, they really like it. So it's cheaper than the poppin. So, but uh, I guess the only drawback is you get butter, you get salt. I think they do a salty sweet, but we don't like that. But that's okay. Uh, Oreos weren't on special, so we resort to the family size pack. It's three dollars fifty. That's good value. Sam's Pantry Muesli Bars that we like were on special. So just keep topping up the pantry. Choc Cranberry, that's the favourite. And Honey Salted Macadamia, that is also a favourite. Another orange juice uh, to go in the pantry. We still had an apple left over from last week, so I didn't need to get one. A two kilo plain flour for all my baking needs. And we've been doing a lot of gingerbread. I have run out of ginger. So the Woolworths ground ginger was the best uh, per gram price. 
I have one tin of red salmon, 210 grams. With this, I'm planning on making uh, my mother's salmon mousse. It's a dip. I'll see if I can find a picture of it. Um, I used to love this when she used to make it growing up and she has given me her fish tin or fish mold tin. So I'm looking forward to making that and seeing if I can recreate it. And a tin of yellowfin tuna in spring water um, for the pantry and also two of the tomato pastes. I want a funny angle with a dent in it. Uh, also for baking and eating, the free range eggs, uh, making a lot of royal icing, so that needs egg whites. So, um, and then we're making a lot of um, kind of scrambled eggs with that's, that are yolk heavy, but they're still nice, nice and rich. Streaky bacon off the deli, seventeen dollars a kilo. That's on that's a dollar less, so it was on special. So. 418 grams for seven dollars eleven cents ten dollars a kilo for chicken breasts off the deli just over a kilo there for eleven dollars sixty six i've got the two for twelve sausages i bought pork and i bought a beef um i bought the we don't normally eat the beef but i was looking at um curried sausage recipes and they all said to use beef sausages so i'm going to try that just for platter night, a chili brie. This is on special. This stuff is delicious. I mean, uh, the way I eat it, which is just a tiny bit of cracker with your brie, please. Uh, but yeah, very nice. Uh, oops, upside down, Miss Jane. Butter. So, a block of butter, a tub of spreadable butter. Right, so I live in Queensland. It's getting hot. And I normally just keep my butter in a nice butter dish on the counter and it stays nice and spreadable. It's getting hotter, it's starting to melt. So when I start seeing a pool of butter in my dish, then we switch to the spreadable. But this is required for baking. So I don't break with, bake with the spreadable because um, it's got, the reason it's spreadable is because it's mixed with cream. So uh, I bake with this. So still the best. This was on special. <clears throat> then we've got, for sandwiches and things, the Dasonia four-pack of salami. That's really yummy salami. And the four-pack of shaved leg ham. Also really yummy. The KR Cabana. So this is the best value for money at the minute at Woolworths. Um, the kids don't have a problem with this. I'm not a big fan of it. It's kind of... Kind of squishy texture wise and the flavor is just not there for me but that's okay I really only ever eat it you know I'll throw a bit on a pizza maybe have one or two pieces off a platter so I'm not bothered if the kids are happy with it and then I'm happy with it that's fine and then we've got the frozen mixed veg normally I just buy three but this week I have bought four because my one of my dogs Loki um, who we took him to the vet this week for a checkup and his vaccinations and we were told that he needs to lose weight he's a bit on the hefty side um, like not like not like really but he's he's chunky for his size um, but he's a big dog so now so what I'm going to do is both dogs get the same thing. Stella's lean, Loki's hefty. Um, so when I make up their dinner, I was told to just less rice. But I don't want to take away the amount of food. So I'm going to add more veg, right? You know, when you're in a diet, less carbs, more veg. So that's what I'm going to do for him. We've got to get his weight down before he gets any like leg issues and things like that all right so that's the click and collect uh let me put up the total of everything and i'm pretty sure i'm over my budget but this stuff we needed all right well thanks very much thanks every much mm. 
Let's try that again. Thanks so much for joining me for another one of my grocery hauls. A little bit haphazard this week, but we make do where we can, don't we? So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.